Hey everyone, today I'm going to be doing a review of the Figma SP012 Black Rock Shooter. Now this figure was originally released in August of 2010. This is actually the first Black Rock Shooter figure that was released as a Figma. And just give you a look at the box. Couple of example poses on the back, figure on the side, and then there's a figure on the top, and pretty much the exact same thing on the bottom. Nice big viewing window gives you a look at the figure, alternate faces, and the two main weapons that she comes with as well. This figure was released before the animated series aired on TV. It's actually based on the original 50 minute OVA, which if you can see the sticker right here, uh, it's actually included in this package is the 50 minute DVD with that OVA on it. So let's get it open. This is actually the sleeve for the DVD, original animation DVD, 50 minutes, black rock shooter logo, Figma on the back and it's done in the same blue check pattern that's on the box and also on the background. And this is the figure once it's removed from the box. So you can see a little bit more clearly. She comes with three faces and two hair pieces. We'll go over all that a bit more. Uh, extra set of hands, there's actually more in here. And then her main gun and her sword. And in the bottom is where we have the stands as well as the extra set of hands. So let's talk about the figure's actual points of articulation. So, so she has articulation at the knees, and actually what I like is you don't have the, the joints don't stick out quite as obviously, just because of how the legs are set up. So knees have good range of motion, in fact they can go all, almost all the way back, a little bit more than a 45 degree. And then her feet are on a ball joint, gives you a bit of flexibility in the... And then of course her legs, at the hips here. They don't go straight up, you know, but once you get them up there you can, you can sort of see how that joint is set up. And she does have some articulation in the waist itself, as well as up here, just sort of uh, beneath the breast. And then her arms, because of this sort of uh, hood that she wears, it's in the down position on this figure, and so it prevents you from putting the arms straight up. I mean, it's pretty, pretty close. You just kind of have to finagle it. And full 360 in the arms. And then she's got the uh, elbow joints, which you can do better than a 45 on. And then her hands, they're just on the single peg. And they have articulation, the peg moves. So when you just insert the peg in, she has backwards and forwards with her hand as well. And then her head's on a joint so you can move it back a bit. Put it forward. Side to side. And pretty much turn it all the way around. And then a couple of cool features about this figure though. Because she has this pretty crazy hair set up, her hair is actually on joints as well. So you can move her hair into different positions and twist it around. So this big thing that you could, you could even just put it straight down. Or, you know, like you typically see her more with it out to the sides. 
And then her jacket, and we see this on some uh, more recent figmas that have come out, her jacket has a joint on either side, like the tails of her jacket, so you can pose it in different ways as well. So she's like flying down. So all in all, a really decent articulation on this figure. Uh, so let's go over some of the extra parts that she comes with. So she comes with three faces. The first one is sort of a just serene, calm expression. Then one with her eyes closed. And then sort of a angrier fighting face. She also comes with two hair pieces. Uh, this is to accommodate that sort of blue flame that comes out of her one eye. So you have the standard hair piece. And then you have the hair piece with the blue flame attached. And it's kind of cool. They've made it out of a translucent bluish plastic, so it does look like it's more of a flame or glowing. And of course she comes with her sword. It's kind of a cool shape of it. See the detailing on it, so the paint along the hilt. And then it's a black blade, but that it's got this silver coat on the one edge. And then, of course, what would Black Rock Shooter be without her massive hand cannon? It's pretty plain, to be honest. I mean, it's probably the... It's only really impressive because of the size, the detailing on it. There's not a lot to be wowed over. I mean, there's really no paint or anything else. It's just all the different uh, shapes that it is. Additionally, she comes with these three sets of hands, as well as two bases for the stands. As well as the standee parts. And she comes with some chains and this clip. And just to make things really easy for you, they've even included a plastic Ziploc Figma baggie so that you can put all of her spare parts in there so you don't lose anything. And perhaps the most important part, instructions. Yeah, there's really not much in the way of instructions there. So like most Figmas, she has a hole in the back. Because it's all black, it's actually pretty well concealed. I could hardly see it initially, but... And so that's where the stand attaches so that you can do different poses with her. Just looking at some of the detailing, she's got the star emblem on her uh, pocket. As well as you can see, they've actually done the zipper on her jacket, this uh, silver color here. Good detailing and paint work on the belt. And the same thing on the boots. Even the heels and the soles of her shoes are a separate color. And of course, then the start on her back, as well as the striping on the sleeves of her coat. All in all, pretty nice character. You can see where they've done the scars on her abdomen and up here too. Now you can see where, um, <clears throat> now here she is holding the actual gun. Now, I have to be honest, it's kind of a pain 
to get the hand that holds this gun onto the guns. Once you've got it on there, you might want to just leave it. But here's the one problem with this gun. <laughs> Without the stand, it's basically going to be resting on the ground because she just doesn't have the strength to hold it up. Her joints just aren't strong enough. So you really do need this stand if you're going to have her posed with shooting her cannon forward. If you're doing something similar to the box where she's just sort of standing there holding it and the end barrel's resting on the ground, then you're probably fine. But in this case, it's you didn't really need it if you're going to be posing her like she's trying to shoot forward. I imagine they tried to make it accurate to the anime, but uh, it strikes me this could have been designed a bit better to provide more of a secure resistance against her forearm and stuff, but uh, you can see there's huge gaps so it just kind of flops around. So there she is basically just standing like just with it rested on the ground. Well, that's Figma SP-012 Black Rock Shooter. She's a pretty cool figure. I, to be honest, bought her just because I thought she looked cool at the time. Like I said, it was before the anime was really out, so. All in all, pretty cool character. This is actually the first Figma that I ever purchased. Black Rock Shooter. Hope you enjoyed the video, everybody. I'll get a little better at this. This is the first time that I've done a figure review. So I've got a couple more that are coming in that I'll be doing reviews on as well. And don't forget, the channel's got its usual features. The Anime Club on Monday, Manga Review on Tuesday, and Book Club on Thursday. And every now and then I'll do these kind of figure reviews. So thanks very much for watching, everybody, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.